Hey you guys, how you doing? Uh, this is a hard story. Um, wow. I did this story, but I end up having a computer crash and I lost the original story. So I'm going to try to go over it. And this is written by the Daily News. And I believe the other story I had was by another um, paper. So I'm going to go ahead and get into this. And you know the crimes that are happening against children are becoming so on the regular and it's disgusting to me and it really bothers my spirit because these are innocent helpless children that cannot overpower an adult so i'm going to go ahead and get into this story you guys brazilian mom 30 beats five-year-old daughter to death gouges out her eyeballs and tongue and tries to eat them because she believed the girl was possessed by a demon. This is sad. I believe her name is Josmere Gomez was arrested Sunday at her home in Marvelha. I can't say it. It's in Brazil though, you guys. She confessed to the police to killing her five-year-old daughter, Brenda De Brenda da Silva. The 30-year-old woman reportedly gouged her daughter's eyes out and cut part of her tongue off. Um, this is the story. I mean, I'm just paraphrasing on some of the stuff that I read yesterday. Gomez was found praying next to the to Da Silva and told investigators she killed her daughter because she believed she was possessed by a demon. She remains in police custody and is currently hospitalized undergoing a full medical evaluation to determine her mental capacity. But what I read yesterday is that when she ran into the bathroom, the child's grandfather was home and he was the one that actually called the cop. Um, whatever she was doing, it alarmed him enough to make him go and call the cops. Okay, so here we go. Authorities in Northeast Brazil are looking into the murder of a five-year-old girl whose mother admitted to ripping out her eyes and then cutting out a piece of her tongue before she allegedly chewed on it. And this was, wow. Josmir Gomez was arrested at her home in the municipality of Mar Marvella, I believe, I don't know how to pronounce that name, on Sunday and then confessed to investigators that she killed Brenda Da Silva because she because her daughter was possessed by the devil. Brazilian outlet Fala da Agost I couldn't pronounce it yesterday, so I'm just gonna report that person reported, okay? So I'm bad with names, you guys. The civil police said Marahol Marin Hall Da Silva made a call for help at 4 p.m. local time after his 30-year-old daughter had locked herself in the bathroom with his granddaughter for 30 minutes and refused to open the door. Ooh, I know. Let me see. She is so adorable. That little girl is too cute. She is so cute. Jasmine Gomez left was arrested on Sunday night after she alleged killed her five-year-old daughter Brenda da Silva by gouging out her eyes and cutting out her tongue. Oh wow! Yeah, there's definitely something going on with this lady. There's definitely something. Those must be scratch marks. If she was, um, I don't know what those are. 
You guys, I don't know. I, all I know is this is a really sad and disturbing story. Something happened. She is so adorable. Brenda's grandfather discovered her lifeless body in the bathroom of the family. Ah, what is wrong with this computer? Brenda's father discovered her lifeless body in the bathroom of the family home in northeastern Brazil on Sunday after he saw blood pouring out of the drain outside. Oh, my God. I know that had to be the worst scene in life. Sorry. Ugh. Brenda da Silva was killed by her mother during a gruesome attack at the family home in Mar Mara Vel Velha, Brazil. The five-year-old's mother reportedly used scissors to gouge out, mm, gouge her eyes out and cut out her tongue. Lord Jesus, I don't know what's below this, you guys. Nothing. Look at this baby. This lady literally killed the baby and said that this baby had a demon. So what gets me is that a lot of times people that say that it was a demon, normally they're the ones that have the demon that's possessing them. And it could have been something in this little girl that that demon saw that was a threat. And so that demon attacked that child. And a lot of times they say that psychotic episodes are de are psychotic episodes, but a lot of times they don't know the difference between being demon possessed and having a psychotic episode. So my thing is this, my prayers go out to the family. I pray for the grandfather that had to experience this horrific incident and know that his daughter did this crime. So let's pray for the family strength. Let's pray for them not to, I mean, they're never going to, the grandfather's never going to forget. I pray for the father, wherever he may be, and the family members that love this child. So you guys, uh, oof, this is a tough one. So that's why I say the crimes against children that's happening on a, it, it seems like the rate is increasing more and more each and every day. So I really feel like it's a demonic attack against children right now. You know what I'm saying? So you guys let me know what you think in the comment section. Please hit that thumbs up button. Please hit that post notification bell. And don't forget to subscribe, you guys. I thank each and every one of you for even taking the time to watch my content. Those that are just watching, please become a family. You know, don't just watch and keep going. Just become a family, you know. You never know. So until next time, you guys, you take care of yourself and take care of those babies. Okay? Bless you.